With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, let's start with the question. Here we have given the point which divides the line segment joining the points 8 comma minus 9 and 2 comma 3 is in the ratio 1 is to 2 internally rise in. For, for this, four options are given. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So let us start with this solution. So first of all, what is given to us? We have given a line segment. So let this is the line segment. Okay. Here is the point that is 2, 8 comma minus 9 and 2 comma 3. And there is a point which is dividing the line segment in, uh, in the ratio of 1 is to 2. So let the first point be as A, the second point be as B and the third uh, point which is line in between this segment with dividing the points in 1 is to 2 ratio as P uh, with coordinates x comma y. Now similarly I will let consider the coordinates of A as x1 comma y1 while the coordinates of B as x2 comma y2. Now as these points uh, has the point p x comma y is dividing the line segment into 1 is to 2 ratio he means the value of n will become 1 and value of n will become 2 so by using the this midpoint theorem i can able to find the coordinates of p so the coordinates of p coordinates of p x comma y will be nothing but is equals to in bracket m x2 plus n x1 divided by m plus n and similarly the y coordinates will be nothing but m y2 plus n y1 divided by m plus n now i will simply put the values from the upper side so here i will get the m is nothing but 1 into x2 is nothing but 2 plus n is 2 x1 is nothing but 8 this will be divided by m plus n mean 1 plus 2 similarly m is 1 y2 is uh, uh, 3 plus n is 2 y1 is minus 9 divided by 2 1 plus 2 now i will solve this so here i will get the coordinates of p that is it will be nothing but 2 plus 8 to the 16 divided by 2 plus 1 will be 3 similarly this will be 3 this will be plus minus minus 9 to the 18 divided by 3 so here i will get the coordinates of p as nothing but 18 by 3 comma minus 15 by 3 further solving these coordinates i will get the coordinates of p that is p of x comma y will be nothing but is equals to 6 comma minus 5 now if i will look to the coordinates of p so x is nothing but positive and y is nothing but negative hence the point p will lie in the full coordinate will lie in the four quadrant if i will check it out by the option so option d will be the right answer for this question i hope you will like the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today